Lithium sulfur battery weakness solved by this breakthrough. Every now and then, cutting edge technology appears out of nowhere and transforms our environment. Examples of such groundbreaking accidental discoveries include dynamite, penicillin, x ray equipment, and even microwaves. And now we may have had another one this year. But this time, by unlocking an elusive technology called lithium sulfur batteries, it has the potential not only to alter how we live, but also to perhaps save our world from impending climate crisis. What are lithium sulfur batteries? How do they work? And what institutions have achieved these breakthroughs? Stay tuned to find out. Remember to like this video if you're enjoying our content, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications in order to stay connected. So, what exactly is a lithium sulfur battery? In the 1980s, a different kind of lithium ion rechargeable battery called a lithium sulfur battery was developed. Sulfur serves as the active cathode component in lithium sulfur batteries, instead of nickel, manganese, and cobalt cathodes. Elemental sulfur, S8, transforms to lithium ion 2 sulfur, with two lithium ions during the conversion reaction. This property makes sulfur appealing because it can tolerate more lithium ions in the cathode during discharge. Traditional lithium ion battery cathodes, in contrast, only allow for a 0.5 to 0.7 lithium ion per host atom. The higher theoretical energy density of sulfur at 2,600 watt hours or kilograms and the proven density of sulfur are more than twice that of typical lithium ion batteries. The quantity and affordability of sulfur are further appealing qualities. The cost of sulfur per kilogram is far lower than that of NMC cathode materials, despite being the fifth most prevalent element on Earth and a frequent byproduct of petroleum refinery. So, why has it been challenging to develop a commercial lithium sulfur battery? There is one major problem with using lithium sulfur batteries. Along with its advantages, lithium sulfur batteries have presented developers with a major challenge known as polysulfide shuttle, which has typically limited the life of lithium sulfur batteries. Lithium polysulfides are produced as an intermediate product when sulfur and lithium come into contact during the charge or discharge process. Due to its high solubility, it causes dissolved lithium polysulfides to exhibit the shuttle phenomenon, which causes cathode materials to degrade over time with repeated charge and discharge. It specifically refers to the loss of sulfur and it keeps dissolving in the electrolyte. Since this issue is directly related to the longevity and safety deterioration of the battery, the polysulfide shuttle has thus identified as the main barrier to the commercialization of the lithium sulfur battery. Lithium sulfur batteries are often only capable of handling around half as many charge cycles as a lithium ion battery. In other words, a lithium sulfur battery is essentially dead after a year or two of appropriate operation. However, this hasn't stopped scientists from finding ways to work around the problem, and there has been some prospect of breakthroughs that could precipitate the commercialization of lithium sulfur. One of such breakthroughs was realized by the research outcome of Korea Electrotechnology Research Institute, or KERI, related to low-cost and flexible high-energy density lithium sulfur batteries, recently published on the front cover of the journal called Small. In this approach, KERI used phosphorus and activated carbon, or P, a common ingredient in bleaches and filters due to their high absorption capacity. The study group coated a separator with activated carbon to trap the lithium polysulfides that are produced physically during the charge and discharge cycle. The study team also added extremely absorbent phosphorus for chemical capture to the carbon matrix. The performance loss of lithium sulfur batteries brought on by the lithium polysulfide shuttling effect was avoided thanks to this multi-model capture method. The study team also succeeded in making the lithium sulfur battery more flexible, which increases its user friendliness. To remove the heavy current collector, or to boost energy density, and ensure durability with the bending feature, the team used carbon nanotube materials with high conductivity, intensity, and flexibility on the sulfur cathode. The 400 watt hour kilogram energy density of the lithium sulfur battery created by KERI using the above described procedure is thought to be the greatest in the world. 
The combination of the lithium sulfur battery's high energy density, performance security, and flexibility with the already existing benefits such as lightweight and low cost, increases the likelihood of its commercialization with possible applications in the field of future air mobility, including aerospace, flying cars, drones, and etc. In a separate study, engineers from Philadelphia Drexel University set out to slow down the chemical process that occurs when the battery charges and discharges, which produces polysulfides. But what they actually discovered was amazing, a sulfur chemical phase that essentially halts battery deterioration. Monoclinic gamma phase sulfur is the name given to this chemical phase, which has only ever been seen in the lab at temperatures over 95 degrees Celsius or 203 degrees Fahrenheit. It's never been observed at room temperature before. This stage totally halts the process that generates polysulfides inside the battery. The battery was put through 4,000 charge cycles without losing capacity thanks to this technique, which means it lasts at least twice as long as lithium ion. It's also important to note that their batteries could charge just as quickly and had three times the energy density of lithium ion. In addition, it'll only weigh a third as much and last twice as long as identical lithium ion batteries. Now, these breakthroughs indicate that far quicker, more efficient EVs with thousands of miles of range will be economically feasible at prices comparable to those of today's EVs. Additionally, they would still be helpful in 10 years, significantly decreasing waste and speeding up the adoption of electric vehicles. Furthermore, technology will exist to enable totally electric short-haul aircrafts, cargo ships, and passenger ferries. These industries will finally be able to meet their low carbon objectives because of the weight saving, extended lifespan, and affordable pricing. In other words, lithium sulfur batteries may make it possible for a wide range of activities to switch to electricity, making net zero emissions much more realistic. And that's where we wrap things up for today. Our team appreciates you sticking around to this point. Please give us a thumbs up and kindly subscribe to help the channel grow and cover more breakthroughs. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification feature to stay updated. Do have a splendid day and see you in the next video.